This video is for all the guys who just gotten into the game lately and are struggling to get ahead with coin. It'll cover all of the spawn points in factory and most of the loot boxes to go to to get some quick loot and bring in those rubles. We only use the main exit, although I did bring the factory key with me just in case we might want to find the others. And I did bring a wallet, however I found that it's not necessary and the extra slot in the gamma container could have come in handy. I realise a lot of you won't have as many slots in your gamma container, but that doesn't matter. You can still get some good loot. And this video is to show the spawn points and how to get the loot quickly and secure the best loot. So the scenario here is we've just done our scav run and we're going to see how much loot we can get in the half hour we have until our next scav run is available. Let's get into it and I hope you find this video helpful. Right, first one's hallway spawn. Go straight up this set of stairs here. Try to go up to the top level and get into the offices through the little hole and check the safe. Now we see a scab there so we've deviated. Check these boxes here. Don't worry about little bits of ammo like that, they're not worth much. Check this box up here in this ladder. Now, always take gun parts, but then when you find medical supplies, you've got to prioritise. Time to get out. Now, it's important to note that when you're doing axe runs like this, or knife runs for loot, you won't get much XP because it's called a run through these days. But we're out. And there you go, run through. All right, next run. Always spawn again, straight up the stairs. Try and get into the safe room in the office. Now that noise is someone downstairs in the bathroom. Always see if you can get a quick kill on the scout. We're out. Right, this next spawn is the top of the stairs next to gate zero. It's pretty close to the old hallway spawn. Now I hear another guy. There he is. He's right behind us. I can hear him coming up the stairs, so we're going to have to turn and fight him. Oh, come on. I think this seems to be the best entrance point. Because we can get straight up these stairs, unless someone's got a gun. Which they do. Get up here, get in here, get to the safe. Or not. Get to the safe, loot the safe. 
Nothing in the safe. Level 36 bear. He's going to be worth quite a bit. So we did get a kill there. We took the dog tags. We're just going to check how much they're worth. Always go to therapist with your dog tag. 39,420. Right, this is our first tunnel spawn. Near the storage tanks. Just get up here, straight into the offices. Easy as. You hear someone's breached the door. So that breach is the, the room next to us. Get to the safe. Cat. No money. Someone coming in. Right, this spawns the forklift room. It's in the far right hand side of your map next to the glass hallway. Oh, I think this is the worst place to spawn. I might go for the crates. Let's have a look. These ones here. Oh, there's someone behind me already. So we're full already. Gonna see if we can get a kill. Shit. Prioritise dog tags. Uh. And we're out. Nice little run. Got a kill, so we'll get some XP. That'll do. Still got four minutes left until we can go in our next scav run. So let's keep looting. Shitty spawn again. We'll go for those crates again. Unfortunately, a scab always spawns in this little staircase here. So just doing a little prioritizing here. The Salua you definitely want to grab. And as you see here, the gun spawns, which is worth a lot more than this magazine. And we're full. A lot of big shots going around, so I'm just going to get out. Maybe a run through, but... So, get the stuff and get out. 
Let's do a one minute twenty to go. Right, we're under the stairs near the camera bunker door. This one up here. Nothing. Go for the safe. Oh no! Frank the Tank. Right, this is actually my first run, which I'm just going to splice in to my last run. So we've got the tunnel spawn near the oil tank storage again, straight up into the office rooms. You notice there is a box just here on the left. underneath me looting a box. War done. <laughs> Woo! Righto, so you've done your runs. What are you going to do now? Clearly, we want to keep all the meds, right? Don't want the bandage. Then we want to sell these. going to keep the scope and I'm going to sell absolutely everything else. Now I've already got a room 206 key so I don't need that either. Ninety-three grand there. I'm just keeping these this ammo type here because that's for the AKS. Fifty grand there. And I'm gonna keep the rest of that stuff. So we get 140 grand. Not bad. So we just went and did it all again, did my scav run, came back, did another half hour's worth of looting, and this is what we've got. Let's have a look, sell this lot off, see what we can get. Silencer. Fifty three grand there. And we 
want to keep everything else. It was worth 30 grand. It's about another 150 grand run. Even more, 200 grand. Plus we found about 40 grand worth of rubles. So there you go. I hope you found the video helpful. Just remember when you die, everything in your gamma container stays with you. So you don't have to worry about it. Just go loot, stick it straight in there and get out. See you next time.